It is Thanksgiving. No one wants to talk about the tropics. We only have a couple more days of hurricane season officially, but there is a little activity, so you don't have to listen to what I'm saying. These are not threats to us, so I don't want to encourage you to change the channel. We're just going to talk about this for a second, but our chance of development for this area in the Atlantic is now up to 40%. It might become a subtropical system, but it has a very brief window, really just about another day or so. Now, if it does develop, it would be named Kappa, and it would take us to an incredible 31 named storms this year. There's just one other spot to watch with a 20% chance of development way out in the eastern, far eastern Atlantic. So these might not form. We might continue the next several days and finish the hurricane season with our current numbers, 30 named storms and so forth. But we will see whether that does try to take on a few more tropical characteristics in the next day or so. But by the weekend, when will become unfavorable for it and its chance for development should diminish by then. So hopefully we don't have to talk about Kappa in the next day or two, even though it wouldn't be, of course, anywhere near us. I just don't feel like talking about Kappa. I want to be done with hurricane season. 50% chance for downpour Saturday and then Saturday night into Sunday, I think will be the biggest time frame for showers and storms. In fact, Sunday morning, there could be a few severe storms as that line approaches. And then Sunday night, we really chill down. It will turn windy. Our rain will end. Cooler air will begin to rush in. Temperatures will plummet and Sunday night will be in the 40s. That will take us into early Monday and you can see the freezing conditions north of the lake by Tuesday morning and probably some frost south of the lake Tuesday.